So we are going to be adding a banner image into our website now. So I'm going to click into where I want my banner image. And ideally, you would have made this banner image before you've made it previously. So uh, in order to find the dimensions for this banner image, I'm simply going to come down here into the code. And we can see that I'm currently in this T TD, okay, this table division, because we can see my white carrot there that matches up to the top there. So that's where I'm currently clicked. Okay, now this TD only has a height of 229. So we know how tall my banner needs to be. Okay, I can change this as well in the code. So I might want to make this, I don't know, 250. And so I can update that and that will make this banner ever so slightly larger. I can also see that above it is this TD here. And this is the whole column that is containing my three different division or four different divisions inside it. And we can see this is set to be a width of 1024 pixels. So I know that using this 1024 wide and this height 250, I will make an image that is exactly this large. So in order to insert my banner image, I'm simply going to do what we did for this first button. So making sure I'm clicked into where I want the image to go, I'm going to go up to the insert tab and I'm simply going to come down to image, the second one down on the list. And it's going to allow me to choose an image. So I've got it in my images file. And for the purposes of this one, I had a PSD that I made my banner in. So I've saved that in a PSD folder. And I've got my exported homepage banner JPEG here. So I'm going to press OK on that. And that will insert my banner. Now you can see that the banner has made this box bigger because the, I've set this banner to actually to be 400 pixels tall. And so it's had to accommodate that. And I'm just going to update this here in the code. Um, but obviously, you might do it the other way around. But if you designed your banner first and then thought about uh, how it's going to, how big it's going to be, then you can just do this and update it this way. So I've now got my banner image in my website. And it fits really nicely inside this box. 